Hello friends and welcome to the Mindful Making YouTube channel. If you are into making and uh, share the passion for yarn and knitting, you have landed the right place. My name is Jane and I am coming to you from Asquith, which is close to Hornsby, north of Sydney in Australia. I am Danish, but I've lived in Australia for the last 12 years. And before we start, I would just like to acknowledge that this video is recorded on the traditional lands of the Darug and Kurungai people. I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. And I extend that acknowledgement and respect to any Torres Strait Islander or Aboriginal people watching this video. Thank you for tuning in. Today, when I record this, it is Sunday the 14th of April 2024. It is a beautiful afternoon here in Hornsby. Uh, we, we are in autumn here in Australia, in the Southern Hemisphere. The temperatures are absolutely wonderful. They're perfect, you know, mid-twenties during the day and um, we get a bit of cooler evenings and uh, cooler nights. So now, um, finally, um, sleep is restored. It's not that tossing and turning as it was mid-summer where it was just humid and warm and blah. Um, so it's beautiful, it's lovely. And um, last weekend we uh, turned back the clock, so it's not daylight saving anymore. So standard time, which means that it does get darker earlier in the evening. So around 6.30 it's dark here in Sydney. And um, that means sort of, yeah, couch, TV and knitting. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's sort of an excuse to just pull inside. I can also sit outside, which is which I do do once in a while. Um, and the temperature is just lovely, you know. And um, it's you know the temperature is cooling down. Knitting on, yeah, knitting and sort of um, yeah, autumn winter just fits very well together. You can find me on Instagram as Mindful Making, and my website is called mindfulmaking.com.au. And uh, on that website, there are links to Instagram and to this channel and to Ravelry. So that's where you can find everything, and you can also find patterns uh, of design of knitting designs of mine for sale and also my online yarn shop is there if you are interested uh, go and have a look um, so i think those are the admin things apart from that in the description box below there will be a link to uh, the show notes which are stored on my website um, in those show notes you can find links to projects, um, yarn and makers that I will mention today. And I'm happy to say that it hasn't been that long since I um, recorded the last video. Um, and today I've just, I've just come home from a high tea that we, I had with my choir, a lovely afternoon with tea and chatter and just coming to the venue, uh, parking my car, I was a bit late, so um, I could just hear outside the building, I could just hear <laughs> of ladies chatting inside. So it's just, just, just a lovely afternoon. And then I thought, well, I've done my hair or try to and uh, put on a bit of makeup and lipstick and uh, uh, I, <laughs> I will take the opportunity uh, to record this video for you and I've been looking forward uh, to this um, yeah, opportunity for a long time. So thank you for watching and I hope you have your projects ready and uh, maybe a tea or a coffee or anything you fancy and uh, 
will enjoy the next half hour or so with me. Uh, and when recording videos, well, we always have to wear some knitting um, or wear knitwear. And I didn't. And so I thought, okay, I will just, uh, I will just grab one of my uh, Sophie scarves and just uh, wear that for at least for the beginning, so that I have some a knitted object, uh, sort of uh, potter wear. Yeah. Uh, so it's a Sophie scarf, and it's knitted in a Suri alpaca from Louis and Lola. The it was a. Um, part of a, a gift I bought for myself uh, this Christmas. So there were two, I don't have them here anymore. Um, there was a very off-white soft base and then this one which I think is called caramel possibly. And these were leftovers from my um, It Brings You Peace shawl uh, yeah I haven't I haven't used them yet because it's been summer and it's way too warm and it probably be um, too warm here as well um, but I thought well, I would just wear, wear a bit of knitting yeah as small as it gets um, today I have a, a one finished object and one ongoing or two ongoing projects um, so it'll probably be a short one, but anyway, here we are. Um, the finished object is a pair of socks. Here they are. In the last video, I talked about the yarn that I bought at um, Fiber Feast in Adelaide. So this is a DK Way sock yarn from the company Finn Shans. Um, beautiful speckled in lovely red, a sort of deep red and then blues and softer reds on them. And then I bought this light blue for yeah, contrast heel, toe and cuff. <laughs> I uh, knitted these up in a couple of days uh, in preparation for the sock knitting workshop that I gave last weekend at the River Yarn Festival. Um, I uh, taught the students, we call them students or participants, sort of uh, using a um, baby sock as the um, for practice, just teaching calf and leg, and heel flap, heel turn, and gusset, and then a bit of a bit of foot here, and then the toe decrease. We didn't. We focused on on the heel uh, for the most part, and then the toe. So it was very strange looking socks at the end because they were very short legs and very short feet. Uh, or foot on that one sock. But they did such a good job um, in fur, you know, learning both knitting in the round, magic loop, and then socks uh, with a heel, um, flap and gusset. They did so well and I enjoyed teaching that. Um, and then the yarn that I used for that, I have asked them to bring a DK weight just for it to be quicker to knit around. And, you know, it was just a tiny little uh, baby sock. Um, so two and a half hours, uh, they were, it was full on in ter terms of teaching and learning. Uh, and after two workshops, I was absolutely shattered. Um, we went out to have a uh, pop dinner afterwards, and <laughs> 7.30, hour was gone, I was ready for bed, um, yeah, that was, uh, that was um, 
that was exciting. But, but it's just a lovely festival, lovely festival. Um, I just wanted to come back to the yarn of this uh, with the speckles. Um, I mentioned Finns, Finch yarns, and it is from Adelaide. And this colorway is called Winter Garden. You can't see that because that's where the tear is. Yeah, 85 merino and 15 nylon, 100 grams is 225 meters DK sock. Yeah, I actually have some yarn left. Ooh, where did I go? I disappeared. Uh, let's see here in my bag. So I have that much left. I think there is for uh, there is enough for a pair of shorty socks, and I will knit them two up, two at a time, so I know how much yarn I have. Soon, soon, soon. Um, but a pair of DK weight socks, they are very quick to knit. Um, I think I have, can't remember, 40 stitches possibly, 44, yeah. I used the uh, Crazy Sock Lady, uh, she has a free uh, DK sock pattern on Ravelry and I used that for, for these socks, very, very easy go-to pattern for DK socks. So the Crazy Sock Lady. That is my finished object um, in this podcast. Not much, but here it is. <laughs> I have socks and lovely to wear, nice and warm. Coming back to the festival. So um, Friday, the 5th of April was a massive downpour here of rain. So Vera, my good friends, uh, a friend and I, we left at um, we left here 3:30 for a four hours drive. It rained throughout, and one road was closed due to rain, um, but it wasn't a massive detour, and we came across and landed very well. And then the next day, other vendors and other uh, tutors have problems getting there because one of the roads that we had driven the day before was closed overnight due to water. Um, yeah, a lot of water, a lot of water. It uh, was clear and beautiful on the Saturday and on Sunday I had my stall open with, uh, with my yarn and uh, at the end you will see just a short, tiny, short little video of um, from the Yarn Festival. You know, I was quite busy, so I didn't have much time to, um, to record anything. Um, but it was just lovely being with my tribe of people. And you know, when you meet knitters and makers, it's like, you know, a, a you know, one big family. And we had a we had a really really nice time and lovely to meet hand dyers um, uh, also whether they are called shepherdesses a shepherdess that have their own animals and mini mills and produce their own yarns that was beautiful to meet those people um, was some beautiful alpaca yarn that I am very I was very tempted by last time and now we move into works in progress last time I talked about the Huya cardigan and um, I can pull it out again and it hasn't moved or it hasn't grown since we last spoke 
because, and I know it doesn't look very, very elegant, all crinkle, crumpled, clink, crinkled, 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 messy, from um, just being put in the bag. But you see, and you would know from last time as well, uh, last video, that there is a color difference between the body and the sleeve. And I will finish it, but I just lost a bit momentum. And so it has just been sitting in, uh, in my knitting bag, hibernating. It is the Coast Yarn, 50% cotton and wool, single-stranded, knitted on a... 325 I think yes 325 325 yes it will be finished one day and I will wear it although the color difference um, maybe I could over dye it but I wanted a neutral color so I don't know I don't really want a color. Anyway, so that is one work in progress. Or basically, one project in hibernation. The second work in progress is a new project that I started since we last spoke. If you saw the last video, I talked about the, um, the yarns that I bought in Adelaide in the beginning of March, and I have started not only knitting the socks of yarn that I purchased there, but I also have started working with the dark teal yarn. Uh, and I will now show you what I'm making. Oh yeah, now you get the sun in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. So you can see the sun is just uh, exaggerating the texture, which is which is kind of nice. Um, it's a deep dark teal, uh, almost a bit of emerald green in there as well, but a, a, a teal, deep teal color. And this design is called Neela. Yeah, it's better up here where you have the sun. Uh, 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 there. Yes. It's called Neela and it's a design by Natasha Hornby uh, and she is Moonstruck Knits. A beautiful, lovely, lovely pattern. In the pattern, there is a um, you know directions for a for a a sort of three quarter length sleeve or just a cap sleeve, and depending on how much yarn I have, I um, I will just let that decide how much um, how long the sleeves will be will become. So you see here, it's a, um, a textured top with a lace panel running uh, down front. And then it has these vertical and um, sort of very small cables in the center front. And the back has the same texture and, um, and these cables running down. So I'm I'm happy with it. It I uh, I need to take I had to take a few goes on the um, on the front panels because well they have to match where they meet and I had a bit of one row difference between them so I just had to redo that. Yeah, it's a bit of the sun is uh, playing tricks on me, but anyway, I hope you get uh, how beautiful it is. And I love working with this yarn. It's a um, it's a sock yarn. It is a 75% merino, 25 nylon. It runs 424 meters per 100 gram. It is a color um, hand dyed by Ash and Eve. 
Ooh, whoops. Ooh, whoops. So one of the balls had to run away, so this is how much is left. And I alternate skeins, so get a, um, an even colored fabric. Here is the, the label, Whoop. Ash and Eve, and it is called, the colorway is called Black Dahlia from the Wednesday collection, you can't see that. Um, lovely, 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 lovely yarn. And that is why, what I enjoy knitting on while watching TV in different, in varying degrees of trashiness. <laughs> ah, ah, it's good, it's good. I enjoy this season, so that the colder weather is just so, so good for knitting. Yeah, so the Nila, the Nila, 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 N I L A, and I will just pop up a picture here so you can see the design. A beautiful, beautifully written pattern, high quality, um, love it. And I'm looking forward to wearing it with a, I think, you know, with the cap sleeves would just be sort of a vest type thing. And, um, with a white shirt or alone, let's organize my Sophie scarf. I'll take it off. Um, with a white shirt or a white t-shirt, wearing white pants or black or uh, white linen pants, or just on its own as a as a top. So hopefully, or maybe next time it might be finished. Who knows? So that was the second work in progress, and that is what I've been knitting on. That is what I've been knitting on. Last time I also uh, showed you the red yarn that I purchased at the um, at the Adelaide Festival. I showed you. Oop, I showed you this. Um, now it will probably blow out with the sun. It is blown out here. Oh, not easy. It doesn't come up as beautiful as it is in reality. And look at the part in their last video, and then you will see it. But I've just made a uh, a test on a honeycomb texture. Uh, which I think would be center back and also a honeycomb down each each side of of the bottom band quite a short or hip length jacket cardigan type um, So next next step is to start calculating and start writing up just a note so I can then start working on a sample. So I'm looking very much forward to knitting with this uh, with this beautiful red, and I think a lot of you commented on it last time as well. And it's a very new color for me. I don't have anything in red. But I felt very drawn to it, so um, that must me just be something I need at the moment. It's a red. Yeah, so that's, uh, I've just enjoyed knitting up that little sample and trying to think of how, how that design should be. Also a work in progress is that the uh, Gumnut cardigan is in test and it's uh, working really well. And um, the testers, are some of them are below the the um, split for sleeves and body and it all looks good so far so fingers crossed mid-may um, is the expected release um, date time so keep an eye out for that uh, yeah 
that's basically what I've been working on. And uh, as I said, it's probably a short episode uh, today. Um, there's only that much time a day. Um, but another thing that I haven't showed you, and maybe because I am a bit embarrassed. Um, I have previously talked about uh, my stash and how I have created a an Excel spreadsheet with everything that is in in this cupboard behind me, and there are some cones that sits in a in a on another place, and so I have around it sort of stays around 120 kilometers of yard, which would actually keep me knitting for five years. Uh, but then I <laughs> bought some more yarn. And it sits up here in this little uh, basket. Um, and it was because Crea Deluxe, a, a Danish yarn company, beautiful colors, uh, had a sale on cotton. And I thought, well, eventually there will be grandkids. And maybe I should start a uh, sort of grandmother box so that I'm ready whenever. I still think that I have a few years or some years. There's no signals of anything coming up around the corner. But I thought, better be prepared. Or at least I have the yarn that I'm ready to cast on if and when or when and if um, that news comes and I'm just saying there's no there's no it's not something that is um, on the cards at the moment for my kids but uh, look at this oh the sun <laughs> I don't know how many kilometers are here but it's just cotton yarn in a um, sort of a muted me color palette with a bit of blue and some dusty rose and a uh, and a burgundy and some brown in here and i want to color no i want to cotton yarn just for babies as an alternative or a different fiber to um, uh, wool uh, that you know and it can be washed in the washing machine I have not knitted up anything yet. I have no plans, actual plans. I just love looking at them. Yeah. So they're just sitting up here as a nice addition to my 120 kilometers and uh, to the decorations in my living room. Yeah, so I just love, you know, <laughs> oh, super cool and I think this ball size is probably um, discontinued it's a is it a 25 gram so I just bought a heap of small balls this is a pretty dark um, I can't put it because here you see it blows out so I'll just move it here it's a um, burgundy red and a brown and a brown a blue a white sort of beige and then this which is a nice um, brown rose uh, light pink gray in between lovely yeah sitting just sitting here being pretty up here waiting for someday um yeah i see i get a bit dark now and um, so maybe that is time to end this episode for today. 
At the end, um, I will insert a short video of, as I said, the River Yarn Festival. Very short snippet. And then I will also insert a video from a bushwalk my son and I did, my oldest son visiting from Denmark. He was here over Easter and a couple of weeks he left, um, he flew back over London to Copenhagen. He left here 3rd of April. Uh, so I'll just insert that little video, uh, which I hope you will enjoy at the end. And uh, well, that's all for me today. I hope you are well and that you enjoy your projects. And I can't wait to see you again next time. See you soon. Bye bye.